when people ask us, uh, are, are you monitored, doctor? What, what type of provisions have you made to make sure that this sperm that we are thinking of purchasing is safe uh, and that we don't have to worry? Uh, my answer to that is that we're monitored by five different agencies. We're monitored by the state of California, monitored by CLIA, we're monitored by the FDA, we are monitored by the California Tissue Banking, and we're also monitored by New York State Tissue Banking Oversight. So between those agencies, we are looked at every which way, from underneath, sidewards, backwards, and we feel very confident that we exceed all their standards and uh, that people are safe with, with our product. Part of the requirements uh, and uh, part of the protection for patients is that some disease processes might take a while to show themselves in someone, uh, such as HIV. You could be exposed to HIV, the HIV could be in your body, could be transmissible, but it's not showing yet. So what we are required to do and what we always do is once a specimen is given, it needs to spend at least six months in quarantine. Then that donor is retested to make sure that they are not now testing positive before we're able to release that specimen. And that happens for each and every specimen, no matter how many times that a sample has been received, it always has to go through quarantine on all of our anonymous donors.